Hey everyone, Trina here, back with another tutorial here. Today we're going to be playing with these Boku Sumi watercolors. As you can see, they're really dark and fun. And we're also going to be playing with some stencils and some graphite. So let's get started. As always, I'm going to start with some marks. Oh my pencil, it's broken. Let's use a different pencil. This is the Derwent 3B. I'm just going to make some marks, get loosened up. I'm ready to attack this page. I'm going to start by putting some water down, some very dirty water. At least you can see it this time. And then we're gonna go in with some of the acrylic ink. That's oh, making really moody marks. I like it, I like it. I'm gonna go in with the color shaper tool and just sort of spread this out a little bit. I'm gonna go in with, I think this bluish black, just a little bit of it, I don't want too much. And we've got the big giant Japanese brush here. Sort of a different color than the Payne's Gray, a little cooler blue. I'm gonna let that dry and we're gonna come back and with some stencils. So this is the Lyra 6B graphite and this is a piece of deli paper. And this is what I wanna use for the stencils today, but I wanna get some good wet marks here so I can use my sponge to go over it. So I've got my sponge out, I'm just gonna make some marks. And there might be some other colors on this sponge as well. Graphite is a little warmer. And I maybe got too wet there. Still loving the stencil. Like what it does. Um I like these horizontal lines right through there. More down here. I'm gonna come back in with this little scribble isomeric uh, writing stencil. I'll put some up here. I've learned that you don't need to push very hard to get the desired effect. Oh, look at that, that's fun. A little different than what we normally do. I'm going a little bit more over here. I feel like we need a bit more color, so I'm gonna go back in with some more ink. I kinda wanna fix this up here too. Something we could go on. Um, I think I want more of this color through here. I'm not going to put water down this time because I want it to be pretty. I want the line to be pretty bold. I'm going to come back in with the color shaper and pull this down just a little bit.
So I'm going to go in with this reddish black here. And we're going to put some marks through here. Let's see what we get. Ooh, that's fun. I kind of can't see the red though. But the lines are nice through there. Put down a little bit of the open um, titanium white. And we're just going to spread that out a little bit with the color shaper and we're gonna press it onto the paper. here. And I'm going to go back in with the palette knife. Kind of scrape some of that away, leave some. Oh, that's nice. I like those marks there. Sometimes forget about the palette knife being an option. Get stuck on one tool and forget about the rest of them. I like what's going on there. I think I need a little bit more down here. So let's go in with this what we've got left over. A little bit more down. Oh, that's nice. And I'm gonna put some more marks through here. And I think I also wanna add some down here as well. Just a little bit more, a little bit more paint here on the paper. And this is a really fun way add marks because you get marks that you wouldn't normally get with painting. Also, remember that you can take things away. It's okay to take things out of your work if you don't like it. I don't know if that was the best idea, <laughs> but we can fix it. Spread this out. That's way too much. Another thing that we can do is we can take a skewer. We can put the lines in before we put the marks down. Let's try that. I feel like it just needs more. I want a bold white mark there, I think. And you can use your brayer to do this. I just use my fingers. If it were bigger, I'd probably use my brayer. Oh, there we go. That's nice. That's nice. Let's um, make a few marks in here. You don't want to be too delicate with it. I don't want too much color in this. I feel like I want it to be a little bit more muted than normal. Okay, so we're going to go in with the Baked Earth Derwent Ink Tints. Get a little wet. I did change my water because it was really gross. It needs a little hint of red, I think.
Wink glass. So we're going to go in with a Derwink, 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 Derwent Deep Indigo. A little wet. Let's make some lines through here. Getting a little chunky up there, but I like what it's doing. Kind of mix a little bit with the white there. Just kind of want to give it some movement. Maybe let's try the, oh, not the ink black. I don't want that one. There's one, oh, the bark from Ink Tents. Just the line to kind of break it up. Okay, I'm just going to go on with a little white oil pastel. I just want to add a little bit of white through here. Not sure what that's going to do, but we're going to see. Not really doing a lot, but I kind of did define this area up here, which is all I kind of wanted. And this is what we have done today. Um, not my favorite thing I've ever made. But I do like what's going on here. I like this area up here. I love this over here. I love these scratchy marks that I made through here. I think they really add some texture. I think it's got a nice flow. Um, a little messy down here. But overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Let's see how it looks with a mat. You put a mat on it, it changes everything. Like, it looks a lot more finished and polished. Um, yeah, so I think... This is a good one. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the video to the left if you want to see more work. Thanks for watching. Bye.